So July is coming to an end and just like we do it for every month, here are the top 5 apps that I tried and tested during the month of July. Let's get into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back again. So starting up on the list today is the Ultimate HD wallpaper this is a 4k wallpaper it's a combination of almost all the wallpapers that i've reviewed so far because it almost combines the whole lot of them like the abstract and the editor's choice basically you can browse from the latest over here and then you can also go to the popular the most popular you can browse by the most popular except this annoying ad this particular wallpaper is so cool you can get a whole lot of them but then it works very simple any one of them that you want to choose you just have to go ahead and then you click on it like this you can press on top these bubbles over here to open it in the full version if you don't want it this solid then you can blur it a little bit like this for instance if you are using it in a commercial or something like a background or something but then if you are using it for only wallpaper you can go ahead and click on save over here so you have two choices you can download it straight from here by using the download button over here or you can set it straight to your wallpaper without having to download it to your gallery so that is basically how this particular app works so other categories we have the editors the landscape the lifestyle abstract cast and a whole lot of them one thing that i love about this is you can sign in with your gmail account so that even if you switch fonts you are going to be able to assess all the wallpapers that you've saved so far it comes with a free version and then the upgrade version of course the upgrade version is going to get rid of the annoying ads so if you don't want to be experiencing the annoying ads you better go for the upgrade version so sometimes we prefer multitasking like watching something on youtube or perhaps listening to a music on youtube and then you are reading something like a book this particular app here to assist you so you can set your screen to two sides and then you can be operating your youtube channel from this side whilst you are going through your change your thinking change your life book from here so basically you can go ahead and play any video of your choice with a youtube app whilst you are reading or assessing the same thing right also from here even if you can use your two hands you can be doing the same thing right from here so this is how we set it up once you open the app you're going to allow a couple of permissions and then you're going to create a shortcut for this particular app so you decide which app you want at the top so you're going ahead and you're going to select okay so let me go in for something like the bible over here and then at the bottom i'm going to also pick one thing for it so a calculator will be and then i'm going to save it so you can swap it also from here so i'm going to save it so basically i have my king james version bible and then my calculator and then i'm going to add a shortcut to the home screen once it is added i just navigate to my home screen at the latter part of my home screen and then i'm going to have my bible king james version and then that of my calculator in two different screens but then they are working at the same time you have to note also that not all of them not all apps are compatible with this particular app so some of them are not going to work but at least for almost all the apps that i've tried so far they are working perfectly well so i think most apps works perfectly fine with this particular split screen launcher so you can go ahead and check it out moving on at number three is miui i5 i don't even know how it is pronounced but then hey that is how i can pronounce it so basically this app is a notification panel app but then it allows you to scroll from the down instead of scrolling from the top sometimes if you are not using double hands scrolling from the top can be so hectic but then this app will allow you to drag it straight from here and then it comes with a lot of customizations that you can try it out for instance if you go to the colors over here you can choose which sort of color that you want to use so for instance if i change it to blue over here and then i scroll the panel i'm just going to have 
blue over here it allows you to mess up with the brightness with the chord volume and then the ringtone and everything straight from here and then you can access a whole lot of the notifications starting from the mobile data portrait and then if you scroll airplane mode nice mode hotspots and then the battery life also is there also if you are playing music you can control it directly from this place next play previous all of them are available over here setting it up is not anything like a big deal you just have to set the sliders which one of them you want to see at the panel and then you can set your color the layout how you want it to appear and everything so you can play around with most of these things you just have to turn the service running and then allow a couple of permissions in your settings to get this miui i believe that is the correct name of this app but then that is it the link will be in the description in case you just want to check this out i've been hearing of google keep notes for quite a while now but then today i decided to give it a try and then i think this is my best note taking app that i've really used in a while okay so the google keep notes is very simple to use just like other note taking apps you can take a note straight from here without any fair idea of what this app really is so that i think is a very simple user friendly apps you can customize it for example if you set a title or you take a note like video and then it saves right from here if you hold and click on it you can give it a different color from here that is you can give it a green color and then you can click and hold on it and then it sets a reminder for it so like you have to record a video on perhaps next wednesday and then you click ok and then the reminder is set to so whenever the time is due just like an alarm it reminds you of what you are supposed to do i love this because it is not only test you can basically record audio also with this and it is going to give you a transcript of the audio that you're going to speak because i'm using the phone's audio that is the reason why i can't record the audio also from this one but then what do you lose you can try it out if you download this particular app the last thing that i love about this is since it is operated by google you just manage it with your google account so anytime you switch phones you're basically going to be able to sign in straight from that particular phone. then you're going to retrieve all the notes that you've saved so far so you can basically do a couple of things and then if you delete one particular note it stays in the recycle bin for as long as seven days so for instance if i delete this and then i head over to the deleted over here i can see from all that i've deleted so far like the tries and errors that i so this is going to stay in the bin for seven days before it gets deleted permanently so if in case you change your mind you can go back for it and then finally you can always synchronize this to save in your google account anytime you add up to your notes so i think for a cloud saving notes app i'll definitely go for the google keep notes last on today's list is this hack launcher i don't know but anytime i open this launcher i feel like this hacker that i've always been seeing in movies but then this launcher is very super awesome i love it so far if you scroll it up over here you're going to access all the apps just like most of the launchers that you've been using you're able to control it with this numbering from this side i think if you're a minimal person this isn't going to be the best deal for you because basically there are a lot of things on top over here but here is the key part that you can assess and make all your calls and it supports just like any dialer and then the contacts will be available over here if you click on this small button over here you're going to see all your contacts list and then you can browse through them as simple as that at a set you can do a couple of things you can change the theme these are the two themes that i've downloaded so far so you just click on apply and then you can apply the one that you've downloaded so basically you can get more teams over here any one of them you want to install you just have to go through them and then you can select almost everyone that you want to. they have some basic nice themes that you can go for also you're not restricted to this background you can free some space by optimizing it over here and then it's going to optimize and free some sort of space for you you can as well turn your power saver so yeah basically that's it a lot of things that you can feel 
it's almost the same things on here the facebook opens whatsapp opens mails opens everything just that it has been done in sort of a golden form for you and i love the fact that it doesn't lag though it doesn't look really minimalistic it doesn't lag you can simply assess anything that you want in a couple of seconds you can rearrange this ones to the grid if you don't want the towels so go grab this arc launcher and let me know your thoughts about this particular launcher so yes those were my top five apps that i tried and tested during the month of july 2019 let me know about your thoughts about this video which of them that if used or you're going to download all links will be in the description in case you want to check them out and let me know the feedback it will be very much appreciated if there is any app that you want to see in the next set of apps do let me know in the comments and once again thank you so much for sticking around and watching to the end of this video i'll see you in the next video it's innocent here and bye